I feel that I, I've got like a good block of a few hours, I work on my studies. But what I was trying to do, and I did get into the swing of it for a while, is actually to prioritize the artwork and do daily, daily drawing, you know, mm. which means that it would be the first thing that I go to when I wake up. Now, I've lost the thread of that because actually when I wake up, all I want to do is just check my emails and I'm in a panic because I've got like paid work to do and I'm just worried I won't get it done, you know, and Mm. I have to start as early as possible. So I've lost the thread of that. But ideally, that would be as part of it, almost a sort of a meditation or a good start to the day is to, to, to prioritize the artwork because you'll achieve what you prioritize. You know, if we want to be, if I want to be make, making a successful career as an artist, and that's what I should be prioritizing. What but materials I seem to do you prior- use? Sorry, I don't mean to what answer. Materials? Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Um, well, I I use, according to, according to what's going on, like I, I did Inktober Challenge, so I was using all ink for that. Mm. Um, and I do I do use ink quite a lot. I use Chinese ink, you know, the stick. Oh yeah. I like to start with that. I like to start with grinding grinding my own ink, you know, and it's quite diluted. So you start with washes or whatever. I quite like drawing with um uh, fine liners and um you know dipping ink as well. Mm. And I like using pro markers. Because I think these translate very well onto a screen, you know, onto Instagram and so on. The colours yeah. are quite acid and strong. Yeah. And I use, sometimes I use oil pastels I like. But it's mm. often mixed media anyway. If yeah. I start with watercolours or watercolour pencils, I very often end up using oil pastels over because I prefer the intensity and the texture. Mm. Um I like what I like graphite. I like watercolor graphite in powder as well as sticks. And paints, all kinds of paints. Um, that's quite traditional, really, I suppose. Yeah. I, I, I like also painting media medium um texturizing medium as well. What's sometimes, that? Sometimes or even to texturizing medium which is like a, a gel. You can get different sort of um, textures of the medium, like it can be very thick or it can be, you know, a much less um, solid. And you can actually build texture. I don't think you know, I've heard of that. Okay, well, I'll send you details. But um, it's, um, yeah, just if you want to build up texture either under what mm. you're painting or over, you wow. know, because I find... Yeah very often wants to build some build something up more so it's got like almost like a concrete it's got relief you know almost yeah. like a relief on the yeah. on the picture surface um that's what I've been using I think because I post because I'm posting to social media I tend to stay quite traditional mm. because I find that that's within people's acceptance so so I'm not sort of doing collage in or so much of that kind of thing but where do you um, find your inspiration for making artwork um well i i i always sort of thinking about things films are very inspiring to me for example mm. i wasn't even thinking about making any artwork but i watched the i watched hunger yesterday you oh, know fantastic. the fantastic uh, i film. love that yeah yeah Oh, and you know, it's um it is a great film, but there was there was a scene where um Bobby's talking to the priest and it was just that with well, just those two guys and the way the light was and the shadows yeah. and it I just oh my god, I've just gotta stop this mm. here and screenshot it and keep this because I don't know how I'm gonna do it without coming across as like really political if I do some artwork about this, <laughs> but this is this is just incredible, the atmosphere of this dialogue. Yeah. And there isn't an awful lot of talking in the film apart from yeah. when he's talking to the priest because they're not really, it's all very visual, isn't it? It's all it in is. the faces and all in the scenes. Yeah. But then he has this sort of, this dialogue with the priest where so much comes out, comes in, out to the surface. I mm. thought, oh God, this is so atmospheric. And that that's how it would be for me. And I just have to screenshot things or just stop the video and, and draw from it. And it gives me a lot of ideas, you know, 